he was the one they kept calling out for, you know, wearing a mask. And he was just doing, just being, the kid is, uh, I called him up. Yeah, yeah, why would he, why would he wear a mask in a full, uh, a room full of people who's, who have Jesus's blood to protect them from the Delta variant? I mean, what are you, some kind of commie? Basically, he just admitted that everybody, if you wore a mask there, they would scream obscenities at you. That's why, by the way, there was a guy running the mic up a bunch, I think the first day, day and a half, who was wearing a mask, and he stopped wearing his mask because of the abuse. And, and, and he was going to lose his job, more than likely. Like a coward. And, but you know what? This was not the time. His things are so far off. To, this wasn't the time to play his little games. Yeah. I block, went, blocked him on my phone before, and he said, Mike, please take me back. I'm going, you know, just write, just write some of the truth in a box and then put stuff around it like all yeah. the other left wing. Otherwise, I don't let them write anything about me. They either let me write a little bit and quote it, and, or, they, or they don't get to write a hit job on me. And that's serious. I, I'll let right. them go. Ahead. I answer all their calls. I did another hour, I don't know, hour interview with CNN and another. It was two hours. But the first sign of losing your mind is apparently uh, your inability to, uh, like, uh, judge time as it passes. There, and they're coming out tonight. As we speak, I heard that, that it's going on Anderson Cooper night for a big hit job. So, but the thing is, it's... Well, hit job, eh... <clears throat> There's a thin line between hit job and genuinely honest description of Mike Lindell. There, there is no way to talk about Mike Lindell being on while you're being honest that doesn't wouldn't come across as a hit job. You know what I mean? It's kind of it's kind of like trying to describe a train wreck and going. You know, I have to say the way the sunlight glints off the metal and the stripes on the side of the, tr and the fire, it kind of, I don't know, it, it looks so like preternatural, postmodern design wise. But, and then the, like if you mix in the sounds of wilderness, like the snowy winds with the screams of the dying passengers, it's like musical, so, it, like moments, not all the time, obviously, but there are moments when it's, it's just, it's its own song. You'll never hear again. <laughs> Such ass. People to them to do that. If you get a big enough audience live streaming, and they've already they're already like the little boy that called wolf for years right, now. That right. you know, ever Cri cried wolf. He didn't actually call the wolf. I'm just saying. <laughs> he was a little boy that cried wolf. He didn't like. Psst, hey, uh, wolf. Yeah, what's up? You want to play a little prank on the townsfolk? Yeah. Which one? Now, I'm not a big M. Night Shyamalan fan. The Village? Yeah, I'll watch it. I, I mean, if you recommend it. Right. You could do it. If, if something was real, nobody would believe it. Yeah. They, you know, they, they've ruined themselves, you know? It's true. And, uh, but what's worse, you know, that or Fox? You know? hey, so, Mike, I, I can feel... Clearly Fox, by the way. And, and by the way, keep licking your bottom lip and, and doing the weird ghost talking. It's not creepy at all. I'm saying, did God, does this guy ever get down about this stuff? I mean, it, you take hit after hit, and you laugh, and you just keep right on. Well, it's the, you know, and he's, he, he takes the hits, and it keeps him from getting down. <laughs> you love this stuff. Well, it, it's, uh, I was, uh, you know, I do, and I do, but it was, it's the challenge, you know, it's so challenging. It but is. I love it. I love the challenge of it, because it's like, I know God gave me this platform for such a time as this. Right. And so it's like, I already know I'm going to win. You know what I mean? I already know. I'm no, I don't know what you mean. No one knows what you mean. What do you mean? So it becomes easy. Even back way back when I'm looking at what are the odds that I get the everything. All these things kept happening. I get the evidence on the January 9th. When you didn't get any evidence on January 9th. Nothing. What are the odds that the White House there's a you know, a slip that I didn't even was there. If you the whole story there was crazy. Uh, or martial law sticking out. If that don't happen, we're not here. Does anybody know what the hell that was? Does any, anybody, anybody know what the hell that was? What was that? Wait one second. The martial law, law was sticking out? Oh, it becomes easy. Even back way back when, I'm looking at, what are the odds that I get the, every, all these things kept happening. I get the evidence on the January 9th uh -huh. when uh, there was nothing. What are the odds that the White House, there's a, you know, a slip that I didn't even was there. If you the whole story there was crazy, uh, or martial law sticking out. If that don't happen, we're not here. The journalist run. Oh, the, uh, I, I think he means 
martial law was written on the piece of paper he carried into the White House, and what are the odds that's showing? Well, the, the odds are good that if anyone gives you anything, the press will see it. Like Buffalo falling over themselves, the West Wing of the White House, they all stop like sheep. And I said to them, I go, y'all, y'all want to hear something, or y'all want me to answer questions? And they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, I changed my mind. Y'all, y'all find something real nice to say about me. And I walked back in the right house. They were just as fast as they could write. I mean, when the hit job is, and then he said. So, so you lied to them. You were going to answer questions, and then you, they said yes. And then you and then you refuse to answer questions and that's their fault okay something real nice to write about you know yeah. or, i mean that that was some of them that's all they wrote <laughs> you know boy what a story you know, uh, you know. Yeah, breaking <laughs> news breaking news right. but that's what they first day they attacked yeah. saying that the and mike yeah. said we're running right through lunch you know that was that was a big that was headlines across the country <laughs> mike symposium we're, we're we're working through lunch and there's good there's good food in the back i mean that was what they were saying no they were saying that you were going to stream for 72 hours straight because you said you were going to stream for 72 hours straight. You weren't going to take a lunch. You weren't going to take a break. You were you didn't trust them and you were going to keep going. I, like you did, Does he think we, we didn't see this shit? And then he goes, he stays on till seven and then packs it in and they re-air the thing overnight. That's not 72 hours of live streaming, stupid. It was about, a nice ad, was yeah, it? Yeah, it was a nice ad. <laughs> but that built up for the stuff that was to come. And... Um, you know, they they really tried to stop uh, today. You know, today we were, um, you know, we were going to. No, they didn't. No one tried to stop this. Everybody was making fun of it or being critical of it, but no one tried to stop it. No one. No one tried to stop this. They might, Maybe they should have, but that's debatable. Maybe someone, I don't mean uh, someone on the other side of the issue necessarily like myself, but somebody should have tried to stop this. Like, I don't know, his family or friends, if he has any, that might uh, have staged some sort of kind of some sort of intervention. Perhaps they could have stopped this. But no one in the media tried to stop this. We were given stuff to the cyber forensic experts. And um, yeah, stuff. We're given that out. And then we heard last night there was a guy that was here, you know, the um, Tina Peters came here right. from, and she her she got raided on her way here uh, her office got no she got raided had nothing to do with the fact that she was on her way there she's uh, now I'm taking her and getting to her uh, secret hiding place secret place um, she's a t- <laughs> Just kidding. He's moving in. they're moving in together see he's giving her a secret place I'm not giving her a secret place. Wait, I need to hear that again. Sorry. Peters came here right. from, and she, her, she got raided <laughs> on her way here. Uh, her office got raided. She's uh, now I'm taking her and getting to her uh, secret hiding place. Secret place. Um, she's a target. Not, now. not so much a hiding place, just a secret place. It's a secret place to be. It's just the secret place for you and I. It's our secret place. <laughs> I didn't think this would be as funny as it is. <laughs> it's a secret, it's a secret hiding place. It's just, you know, it's not so much a hiding place. It's a secret. I'm just fighting for a secret place. You know, someone she can somewhere she can feel. You know, she can truly be it's like a you know, secret garden kind of thing. I want to run to your naked fountain, because that's a place to find you. Sorry. <laughs>